My name is Hans Bernhard from Ubermorgen.com. We're here at Coded Cultures in jo Yokohama uh, presenting our latest project. It's called the Super Enhanced Generator. It's an interrogation software in order to make you feel comfortable with what's been going on around the world in the last years. People getting tortured, um, held in black sites, transferred, disappearing, etc., etc. So we built a software which simulates, actually it creates the situation where you get interrogated. And um, here we made a little performance which was really a, a fragment of what is actually going on. So we tied up El Silano san um, and we, we used the software to interrogate her. Uh, the software is the script basically. And it's an intelligent software, so it evolves. And uh, yes. And um, is it to analyze how those methods function, or is it indeed rather totally self-referential? If you don't get the answers, you'll ask for them as long as until you get them. Or what's the what is the software aiming for? Basically, it's aiming for the truth. That's what it's all about. So we're. We want to know the truth, and the truth is, is the truth is what we want to hear. So it's just a question of perspective, and that's how these interrogations usually go on in in, in prisons like Bagram Airport or, or Kandahar Air, Air Base or, or Guantanamo Bay or, or wherever Brooklyn. There is a CIA prison or used to be. So they basically want to know. And the software, the software uh, has has different uh, is a master graph, is a complex system of, uh, of of scripts going together, and it retrieves information about you, your email address, and your name, and uses them in the right or also in the wrong way. So it's not it's like a, a real interrogation, mm -hmm. and you also don't you're you're not free after. You passed. You you will be contacted again and again and again, and uh, it all continues. Do you want to take off your mask, actually? Mm -hmm. that's, that's it so actually reminds me. <laughs> fucking uncomfortable. That's unglaublich unangenehm. <laughs> das waren jetzt nur fünf Minuten, oder? <laughs> My God, ist das unangenehm. It actually reminds me of several of your works. A, the for originals, well, transferring the absurdity of pixel realities. It also reminds me of the Psycho S. Do you want to draw a few connections? Yeah, it's part of the the uh, the, the super enhanced generator is is a, as an interrogation tool. It's on the one side, it's part of a bigger research project we do since about one and a half years about about these topics I talked about. So enhanced interrogation, for torture, extraordinary rendition, supermax high, high security prisons, and child imprisonment. And on the other side, it's the fourth and final part of the so-called generator tetralogy, which is based on the four originals, on the idea of the forged original. And these are all engines. So one is, they're all softwares creating for original documents or realities. So the first one was uh, the injunction generator creating uh, 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 court orders. Um, so you can automatically just fill out a form and it will render a court order and send it off via email. So it, 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 it's, you create reality there. And the other one is a bank statement generator. You, you create bank statements on demand. So you can just type in what you want. And it'll randomly uh, create bank statements you can use or not at the bank or not. And then uh, the third one is the psychos generator, which is, is a combination of a online psychiatrist who diagnoses your mental illness and uh, automatically generates a prescription with the drugs you should take and you can print out just F1 and you print out the prescription and you go to the pharmacy and you get your drugs. Actually here in Code Cultures you till now you're one of the few artists who actually bringing political and sort of like real society topics into the research. The mm -hmm. others are more like playing with technology. How do you see the role of the media art and its development after 10 years of Übermorgen.com? In general? More our work. Yeah, by, by the Coded Festival, what you've been perceiving so far? I've been very fascinated by the 
Japanese device madness and their total self-absorption with just playful things, which is a nice thing. It's a very childish behavior, which is a good thing. I have kids myself and I love them for, for exactly for this because they don't care. They just, that's really nice. Um, on the other side, I find it extremely shocking, actually, to, to, to see like a whole scene. I don't know, maybe there are people, but everything I saw now is just totally not connected to this kind of reality we live in, political reality. I mean, and Japan is a, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a fascist, fascist state, but it's, it, there, is a, there are certain elements which are very scary. And, um, so, um, on the other hand, in Exonimo's work, for instance, which you just saw, like trying to find out the political, uh, physical effects um, you have by using the mouse, that is actually something that creates awareness for mm -hmm. dependencies as well as kind of like virtualization phenomena and its kind of like emotional consequences. So, there is actually a political implication in it, well, but Exonimo might be a special example because there are also building structures for media artists, which obviously seems to be another surprise. There doesn't seem to be too much for media artists here, except for a few festivals. Mm, I think so too, yeah. No market, hardly any institutions, as far as I, I don't know. There, I don't know, I have to research a little bit more. I, I think Exonim are a special, they have a special position, uh, for, for me at least, because they're also, they come from the same kind of background as we do, same time, same stuff. Um, no, but... And, but not to be misunderstood, uh, the, the work by ubermorgen.com is not motivated by society or politics or e e economical situations. We don't, we don't care. It's just that we do, we do research in fields which it's kind of natural then that if you do the research in the field of torture, yeah, that you come in contact with things um, that you might want to have a, a second look and, and you might want to do something. And then it starts to look extremely political and it starts to look as if you would position yourself, but we don't. It's research. It's not, there is no message behind. It's, not, it's, it's a question of reception. So how people perceive the work, we don't control, we don't care. It's none of our business. What we do is research and we transform this research into art, or however you want to call it, and put it out. That's it. Business so I don't know, maybe, maybe in Japan there is a lot of people doing similar things. I mean, I think there we have a, there we have a, a level of, uh, under, I think, a similar level of, of working, just playing with things, researching things, and then because of our economical or social or technical backgrounds, maybe there is total different outcome. Thank you. Okay.